that today's activities have really opened people's minds into how to accept people with disabilities and to really understand that they're just similar to us. I think you don't realise how difficult it actually is and how much work people put into doing it. Um, I think it's good to understand the trials and tribulations that they do go through, but how, they've, how strong and how much they've overcome these issues too. I think this more experiential way of learning what it's like um, can really help uh, for us to empathise with people with disability. I think it's been really excellent, yeah. Well, they were really fun and exciting, but I particularly liked the um, deaf soccer because you have to try and work as a team without hearing them and your actions instead of voice talking. Yeah. It's very hard and you have to try and use other parts of your body and yeah, to try and do other things. Like you can't paint with your hand, you have to use your mouth. Well, I found it was like a really amazing experience because it's definitely something you wouldn't just do on a daily like basis, like painting without our hands. That's really difficult, so you get to experience what it's like and for those people who have to like do that. I learnt that guide dogs can be really important because if you don't have a guide dog then that means you can run into stuff and that guide dogs can be a lot more helpful than a cane. I've learnt that it can be hard but it can also be fun and that if you have a disability you don't always need to be sad and upset that you have a disability and you can still have fun. It's been a very good learning experience. I think it makes people want to go out and be more cooperative with helping to excel the different things in the community in order to make people more accepted and kind of have a more inclusive society.